Today we're going to install a window or sliding door privacy film and show you the steps in doing so. So first you want to measure and cut the film, then you want to clean and wet the glass thoroughly. Remove the backing and wet sticky side of the film, place the film on the glass, wet the surface of the back of the film, then place the film on the glass and then squeegee to remove the water bubbles. And then you want to trim any extra film that you may have. Okay, so we are in this brand new condo unit and there is a bedroom with a sliding door. This bedroom doesn't have not a window, so we need to get some lighting. So what we want to do is we want to add a touch of elegance and sophistication through the use of a privacy film. So this film has a really nice design. There's different types of designs that you can get and different sizes. So we got the biggest one that we could. You are definitely going to want to get a squeegee and a very, very sharp blade. First thing, of course, measure. Do not overcut. It's better to undercut than go over past the dimension. So we're going to leave an eighth on each side so we don't actually have trouble squeegeeing out all the water. Uh, the doors here are just kind of weird. So you can see here that we're going to be trimming here. And then this one is actually a little short. So we're going to take a little bit from here, add it on here, and then we're going to apply the second um, afterwards. So first we are cleaning. This is a vinegar and water solution. So now we're just measuring. So 78. Now we're going to cut. All right, so we grabbed a little pomolev and some water, and we're going to be spraying this on the film and on one side of the glass. You pull this, and that's what reveals this film. Now you're going to spray this as you're peeling it. So first we're going to spray a little bit on the glass, and now we're going to spray. You can see that the water just kind of gets pushed in and pushed out. You don't have to press hard, any remnants of the water is going to come out on its own. You just want to make sure that you get these bubbles out of here like that and not scratch it. So that's why you want to get a squeegee. And then within an hour, hopefully all the bubbles will come out. If the bubbles do not come out, you want to lift the film and then just press it slowly. So you may or may not use water. If you do, just know it's going to be a little different color because it's going to have to dry. So we put this one on this side without any water and then one beside it with water. And you can see the, the little difference, right? It's a little, it looks a little more see-through, but that's only because it's still got water underneath. So it's drying. And you're also going to have little issues with the edging for quite some time. So use a an air dryer to make it stick a little better.